can see, well, you can't because it's backwards. It's 514. Uh, wow, not a morning person, so excuse me as I fumble my way through the introductions. Um, but yeah, this is the start of my morning. Wake up in bed, obviously. Uh, anyways, I'm going to get up now uh, and get the day started. What do you guys say? Let's do this thing. Uh, uh, definitely uh, excuse my room. It's not dirty, okay? My room's not dirty. No. It's just, I have a lot of stuff, and so it's cluttered. <laughs> now, I don't really... Oh, it's going to be bright for a second. Oh, boy. Right here. This is my coffee machine. This is actually my kitchen setup in general. Let me back out a bit. There we go. This is my kitchen setup in general. Um, not super pretty. Very tight. But it gets the job done. This is my... Uh, let's get this prep back out again. This is my computer area. This is the most cluttered area here. But I have my favorite two screens. <laughs> yeah. This is my refrigerator, as you can see. This is my bed area. That's my extra more cluttered stuff, things that I need. All right, this is the bathroom. There we go. This is where I get ready every day. All right, let's get ready the rest of the way. See you guys soon. I'm pretty much blind, so I have to do this by feel. I'm actually looking. Okay. Hey. Oh boy. Now I can actually see myself. No. Oh. It's uh, time for breakfast, so we're going to be cooking on our stove over here. I'm not really a morning person and I'm not really a breakfast person. And lunchtime is usually all the way at 1 p.m. So we got from pretty much 5 a.m. all the way to 1 p.m. that uh, we have to wait for lunch. And so um, I definitely need a little something to boost my day. And that little something typically is ah, always eggs. <laughs> Butter dripping right on there. So yeah, here is my beautiful fried eggs in the morning. La la. And what I like to do is just nice make that little hole there. Spread that goodness of the yolk everywhere. It's beautiful. Love that yolk. Alright, let's go eat. Voila. Now I'm all ready for work. We're ready to go. Got my tie all straightened. Uh, maybe brush the hair a bit more. But yeah, we're ready to get on our way uh, to work. So, shall we go? Let's get all bundled up, brave that cold weather, and get ourselves to work. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me. Uh, yeah, we're on our way to the subway right now. Um, this is the way I take every morning. Super cold. <laughs> and um, I'm super embarrassed filming myself in front of other people no one around uh but yeah oh is that someone oh i better go here's young one of the busier places in seoul Right now, that's a bit tough. 
at peak time, these streets are just filled with people. I mean, maybe not like New York style. It can be, but usually not. Ta -da. I don't know if you guys can see it. Not really. But that's Pagoda. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Hello, welcome to work. And this is my work, guys. There we are. This is Pagoda One. This is where everything happens. This is where I come on the daily to uh, teach people like, some pretty good English and uh, hopefully they have a fun time. We got beautiful plants over here. That's usually a study room. Of course, at these times, um, unfortunately with coronavirus, we can't really have too many people here. So yeah, basically just a lot of offices, but the best office, of course, is my office. This is my office, everybody. Let me turn the light on for you guys. There we go. Uh, I have my plants. My plants. Got more plants over here. More plants all the way here. Right now, to get ready, what I'm going to do is uh, basically get some water. That's it. I'm just going to get water, turn my computer on, and get ready to start looking through the news stories of the day. Kind of prep prepping for students. All right. Let's see you around. All right, got to make sure to do the body temp check today. A nice 35.9, and we just have to record the log here. Pretty much in every morning, I get here a little bit early, and I just like to get on the computer. I like to open up the news tabs, the kind of current events, what's happening. I like to review my lesson plan to make sure everything's ready to go. And then I like to, let me log in, there we go. Maybe writing down a few ideas for some classes or a few ideas for my students to talk about uh, with them later. Finally kind of review those lessons so that I can make sure that today is gonna go off without a hitch and we can um, have a good successful teaching time. So go ahead and I guess watch at me stare at a screen. <laughs> Uh, so that you know that I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating so hard. Cold outside. Cold. Peace. Basically, what I'm going to do now is get all the way prepared for work, get my student. I have Skype students right now, but yeah, we'll see you at lunchtime. All right, so I have a little bit of a break right now, and I think Sam does too, so I'm going to go say hi to him real quick. Let's see. So Sam's office is this way, and there we have it, Sam here. Sam! What's up? How's it going? It's going. You're on a break right now? Uh-huh. <laughs> this hey. is Sam's. Look at his Sam's view right here. Look at this beauty. This is the real Gangnam style. Yeah, this is the real Gangnam style. Oh, that's cute. Doing it for the vlog. You got a little little thing right there. This is the guardian of my room. <laughs> the guardian of your room. Sir Squirtle. <laughs> well, that's keep, cute. Keeps me safe. Keeps you safe. Just oh, like nice. my mask. It's, it is a nice view today, isn't it? Yeah, it's a beautiful Ooh. view out there. Except if you get too close, then it's super dirty. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is this is Sam's office. It's, it's the biggest, it's or one of the biggest. It's but, the messiest. Dude, you, have you seen my office? No. I got papers everywhere. Oh, it's terrible. All right, no, have a good, have a good teaching time. Thanks, man. We'll see you around. After, after my browse on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm about to do too. Hell yeah. All right, see you later. Bye, bye Sam. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye everybody. Bye, everybody. All right, let's go see if Chantel's available, but I think she's actually in class right now. Check on her a little bit. Yeah, she's busy. Okay. Anyways, Chantel's office is right back there. We're pretty close to each other, so it's kind of cool. Um, anyway, 
we'll catch you at lunch. Well, we just finished our, uh, what is it, like six hours of work or whatever it was, 7 to 1 p.m. It's now lunchtime. Uh, we got my lunch right here. I'm gonna go warm it up in the break room uh, right now, so I'll be right back. But so far, pretty successful day, except one of my classes, all of them have been online. So these days, even though we can, like people can meet face to face with us using, you know, all the social distancing and guidelines for protecting ourselves, a lot of people choose to actually do online courses. Anyway, so now it's time to do some lunch. And during lunch, what I like to do is I like to eat and enjoy my lunch while watching some YouTube, uh, actually almost all the time YouTube, and then finish my lunch. And then I go straight back into work. Uh, I want to prepare for the next day. I want to prepare for the next week. I want to make sure everything's good. Today, I have a student who reads this book, um, The Story of American um, uh, uh, Freedom. And so it takes me about, I don't know, 30 minutes to finish a good portion of this book so that I am prepared for him. And so that's what we have to do with lunch today. Oh, you guys can see outside now. Now, since it's not nighttime, this is where I work. It's kind of on the 19th floor. There's a better view. You can see Gangnam Square over there along with all the big buildings. Beautiful view, huh? I love the city view. I love it. All right, so now it's time for lunch. I'm gonna go um, warm up my lunch and be right back. So I kind of wanted to lead you guys through what I do for work. The majority of the time we are just um, teaching me and the, the other student. I'm the teacher, they're the student, one-on-one -on -one class the whole time. As you can figure, each person has different needs, different um, wants, different goals, and each of them need different ways to reach those goals in, in English. And so we have to plan all those ways. So I wanted to show you kind of like a, uh, kind of see what my schedule looks like on a typical day. Basically, this is my schedule today. I have eight different students um, and one business class right here. These eight different students I will teach one-on-one. -on -one. So here is their blurred out name over on the left. This is the time they come. This is the subject that they do. And there are a few different subjects, like the topic class. That's just like where we go into a certain type of discussion or focus on what they need. Uh, next, we have the CS uh, class, which is, stands for Core Skills class. Um, and this is a book. If we look at it online, it kind of looks like this. You have the chapter and the chapter name, and then you go through it and you can talk about like stuff to read, some questions, uh, maybe some videos that you can get on to. Here I am, this is my seat. That's the student seat right there. Um, and we just talk. I make notes on the computer. Um, I, I actually do turn this computer towards them so that as the student, you can kind of see uh, what's going on and everything. You can help make corrections for them, give them new phrases and ideas and a better, better English. Make sure to wear your mask. Um, yeah, and that's kind of like, kind of like the setup. So yeah, that's basically my job. You know, just prepare each student a special customized uh, lesson that will best help them develop their English level. So that's what that's what I really like about this job is it's, it's very dynamic. Like it's not day in, day out, the same thing over and over again. No, every day you're doing something different. All the magic happens in this place here. All the magic happens in my office, <laughs> all of it. All right, everybody off work finally. There it is, there's the Pagoda from the high knee. Uh, now I'm on my way home. I'm gonna be getting on the subway. That's super boring for you guys through the magic of editing. We'll just uh, see when I get to my actual uh, home location. I'm finally back home almost. <laughs> uh, it's been a long journey. Some frozen steps down here. 
I need some face wash and I need uh, toner. So it says on my map that Innisfree is somewhere on the first floor. Mission success. I have all the products right here. They even gave me some uh, free stuff. I don't know what it is yet. I will uh, show you guys at home, I suppose. So now I'm gonna go home. All right, so this is what we got at the store here. Um, whoops, that's upside down. We got Innisfree, um, our skin, as you can see, but it's actually, you know, of course, toner. Yeah. Oh, this is not a sponsor, by the way. <laughs> Innisfree is not a sponsor, but Innisfree, if you want to sponsor me, sponsor us, sponsor whatever, Pagoda, uh, we're all for it. I bought this one and then, of course, the cleanser right here. But they always give you free stuff. If you order enough things, they give you some free stuff. And it looks like this is what they gave me. It's energy masks. So basically mask packs that you put on your face. This chair. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Overall, yeah, I'm really satisfied laying down. Uh, laying down. Oh, what's this? Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll see you as I'm working. I might grab a little bit of dinner. Uh, probably my dinner is going to be very similar to my lunch because that's all I have in my refrigerator right now. So dinner's all ready, as you can see right here, hopefully. <laughs> so now I'm going to be jumping into uh, just kind of like work and everything like that. But as I said earlier, I like to enjoy some YouTube videos while while eating. So I'll be doing that and then I'll be doing my some more work on uh, what I need to get done before tomorrow. Mm, some people, some people. Ah. Oh, no. with preparing lessons, I'm all done with having fun, I'm all done with studying Korean. Main things I need to focus on are grammar and vocabulary. I think I just need to do some hardcore vocab study. It's about 10... 10.20. A little bit late on the getting to bed, but um, typically I try to be in bed by 10 because I can't really get to sleep very quickly, so it's probably around 11, 11.30 by the time I get to sleep anyway. But yeah, this is just a simple vlog about our kind of daily life, at least my daily life. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad I could share this time with you guys. I'm definitely going to show you guys around my nightly routine. And then once I jump into bed, I'll sign off. How does that sound? So yeah, this is this is where I get. Uh, if you can flip the image, that would be <laughs> great. Um, I don't know. I just found it at, uh, I found it at, um, All of Young one day. And I really like the idea of, of having, oh, I'm almost out. I need more. Uh, of having kind of like a nice, uh, moist, young looking skin. Ooh, I need more contact solution. Remind me to get contact solution, guys. It'll be way too late by the time you see this video. So yeah, that's basically my night day routine. Brush my teeth, take the contacts out, get my mask, my sleeping mask on, and then we head to bed. All ready for bed. It is 10.55 right now. Uh, wait, I completely misread that. It's 10.35 right now. Um, I don't do anything exciting during a normal day. It's kind of a lot of routine, and I think I've made it like that because when I first came to Korea, I definitely tried a lot of new things all the time, and I still do love trying new things, guys. Don't get me wrong, I love trying new things, and I always will. But I think when I first came to Korea, I was used to a very transitory lifestyle. And after I came to Korea and I really experienced the type of work ethic that Koreans have and the type of work ethic here, it really like threw me into the deep end of that. And it made me realize that I could achieve so much more if I just um, kind of put more effort into it and put more planning into it. And so I kind of, over the last four years in Korea, I kind of changed my ways. I, I've been able to make good habits and good routines that have really helped my life out. 
thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. Thank you for um, spending the day with me and looking at all my routines and um, hopefully you've watched till the very end of this video. If you guys like this, like I said, drop a like down there at the bottom. Little, leave a little comment, maybe something else that you want to see on these vlogs. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Pagoda One. Thanks for watching me. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.